Hello crafty friends. I thought it has been four years since my last um, craft room tour, I guess. Uh, and I thought I would just film a little update for everyone. Now I opted just really not to clean my room. I put a couple of my son's toys in their basket, but I am mid-project and my husband and son decided they're going up to the supermarket and I said, perfect. It's the middle of the day and I am going to film this while I can. So Plus, I think it's kind of nice to see, you know, not the perfect result. This is just the everyday sort of what it looks like. So I'm going to just step backwards so you have the <laughs> more of a view of the room. So I'm just standing in the doorway right now. And um, this is my craft room, but it's also the sewing room, the second lounge room, this is a pull-out couch, so it is also the guest bedroom um, and playroom <laughs> slash uh, where we do all the um, laundry, or not laundry, but the um, ironing and such things like that. So it's an extra room in our house that's slowly being taken over, but I'm still trying to keep in my two corners to myself uh, for crafty reasons. So for the card making side of things, I do have the window here. Um, but it's the same old desk. There's a few little things I've changed in it, but I'm going to go through, um, everything for you anyway. So I just thought I'd do a pan around this area first, and then I'll just sort of go into detail. I don't want to make anyone sick. Oh, that's my, um, my awesome bucket that I'm putting at the front door to put scarves and stuff in, but I just need to get rid of some sharp edges and some Christmas presents that I still have to wrap. So on this corner is the sewing room, or sewing table, I should say, station. Plus all my knit stuff is now over there too. And then above that, I've taken up more space for crafty goodies. So this right here is probably the newest addition to everything. And then of course, I always add to my gallery wall this is sort of all my own personal style of artwork that I enjoy and love, and I like being surrounded by um, things that inspire me when I'm crafting. My son loves looking at it too. He's uh, My husband's always telling me that I taught my son art appreciation from the age of like six months. So anyway, that is... I'm sorry. Hopefully I'm not making anyone sick. All right, so starting with what is on my desk... So I still have my old, um, what are these things called, cutting mats. I keep my Tim, my Ranger non-stick sheet underneath of it. I'm actually in the middle of creating a project for my son via Pinterest thing, but I've got this hula hoop on the ground and I'm cutting rows of plastic tablecloth in rainbow colors and I'm sort of just tying them on and then I'm going to flip it upside down and hang it from the tree. So. He can run through all the streamers. So that's what is all that about. But aside, going back to the actual crafty things. So I've got a few more drawers and containers that are lining the wall of um, all my little brushes. I don't really like plasticky things, so I slowly um, collect little containers I like, or in this case, a really nice mug I found. Um, so yeah, and I'm keeping all my... Copics in little tins and mugs the moment, but I have um, a spinny thing which I might move it into and try out as well. So I have my little couple little bowls to put all my bits and pieces in. These are all things that I colored in front of the TV and then die cut and then haven't done anything with. Um, but yeah, I keep my Copics in here. I, cup, I keep a couple of glue bottles that I like to store upside down in there. And then these are all sort of my blacks, um, pens and everything else and a pipette, but it's just a few black things that I lose in my drawer and I like to have on my desk. Um, I group my little containers sort of by color families and I've got some of those um, brushes just for blending in the back and then my Dina Wakely brushes and my good watercolor brushes all live here so they don't get ruined and brush and in the drawers. Um, and then I have my ink tents pencils which I still love and they just sit there because I was running out of room. A couple of pretty coasters made locally 
um, and I just like to use them for my water, for water coloring. I just keep my two little jars there. I do have, these are my Spectrum Noir um, pencils that I don't really use anymore and my son will inherit them, but I've just got them sitting there at the moment. And my little unicorn that's bouncing around. I still have this, um, I don't really use it anymore. I used to print out some inspiration just to, um, um, just to trigger the creativity sort of thing, but it sort of hasn't changed in two years and I probably should just remove it. <laughs> um, but okay, going back to the desk. So in here, I sort of keep all my color charts. So Copics, my hex chart, um, and then I have all my inks. So these are my Distress Oxides. I just use on um, Nina 80 pound and just use my own pencil and make them up. So I got, and then I've got these ones here, which are pretty much all my inks stamped out in color family. So I can just look per color family. And then I've got some of the inks, just that brand. So that's my um, W plus nine. I got Lawn Fawn. Anyway, this one's my W plus nine. And this one's Catherine Pooler, sorry. I didn't label that one. And then my Alta News here. And then a whole bunch of other papers and notepads and my watercolor test sheets and all sorts of things and more pads and anything that's really flat lives in there. And this one I sort of have reorganized a bit in this drawer. So I now have my cutting pads just right here. Because I grab them all the time. I used to have them um, tucked in the back and it was painful to get them out. And underneath I have all my embossing folders. I keep my um, baby wipes just there, my paper towel just there, and then sort of in behind I've got all my um, alcohol inks and I lucked out because all my other accessories also fit in there so it's all just in one container. And then I've got like these here and then a bunch of refills and such things. Oh, and like my stamp of the jig, all sort of like stamping or die cutting stuff. And I also keep my label maker in here, which is the old fashioned one that spits out the black mm, stuff from the top there. That's the one I like. I don't like the electronic ones. Um, this is probably my most used purchase. This takes off all stick, like from stickers um, or on jars, labels on jars and all that sort of stuff. Eucalyptus oil is awesome. Um, and then below this, this is kind of my, I actually had to retitle this this morning because I couldn't find anything but have, this is like my refill drawer. So it's got everything that doesn't have a spot, essentially. So my birch whatever's, all my refill tapes, my clear tapes, my um, extra foam sponges and felt sponges and tapes and my purple tape which I bought and I have a very good reason for having it but haven't used it and now I can't remember <laughs> pretty sure it's awesome for die cutting and then I've just got like some um what is this stuff called tool that's the word and then like packaging tape and then I've got foam dots and 3d foam dots along the side and then some spare ribbons and stuff. So it's not the most exciting. I also keep my um, chibi lights kit there and my fuse tool just sitting on top. And then in here are the stencils. Oh, sorry. So I've got this little container here, which is great for all your flat stuff. So I'm going to just move to the other side because I have it all set up from where I sit at my desk. So I keep everything. I keep my like uh, masking paper in here. I keep a few little pads of um, these are just the cheap $2 watercolor pads that I just play around on. Um, all my stencils in there and then the next pocket has like the bigger stencils and then there's um, my, acet my acetate sheets. Um, this is sort of all my stuff for when I get the new stamps. So it's all my clear bags and things like that in there. And I think, yeah, but just bits and pieces, just little flat things. I got some thickers and things like that tucked in there as well. So that's where I keep in there. Also some tracing paper and 
yeah, that sort of stuff. And then my actual drawer here is scissors, ruler scissors, paint brushes, um, just various tapes. I keep my black inks that I use a lot just here. So, which would mainly be the Versafine and my Memento, to be honest, and the archival ink. Then I just keep my little pokey tools, my sanding eraser, and just plain white eraser. White eraser. And then I sort of have pens in that one, just calligraphy pens and my little pens, and, and I've got a few little tools onto that side, including my bone folder, and then tucked in behind is some more a tape that I just shove my hand in and fish out when I need it. Same with here, I've got my Tombow glue and some glue dots. So it's, would wish it was a little bit of a deeper drawer and then it came out all the way, not just to there, but you know, whatever. Top one is really just filing and stuff for like office filing. So I just shove all my invoices in there. I am an accountant by trade and I think I file my own stuff twice a year. Not that we run a business, so there's not as much, but um, I just check invoices in there and then file them when I get around to it. And then under here, which is sort of a door, I keep all my embossing powders and powder. <laughs> Can't talk today. My embossing powders. Um, I downgraded to smaller containers so I could fit more in them. And I'd still just left the white and the clear and the bigger ones. And I have a few rolls of like paper. It's more which is for my son and in here is sort of more my cleaning pad I have my magnet paper just sliding on top and then you know my embossing folders my Versamark ink this is sort of like the embossing powder and glitter station I want to and all sorts of things in there I'll just pop this back in and at the back I have some coffee filters and all my spare baby wipes and then down lower I sort of have all my um, I should say these are all Ikea boxes too they're like the DVD um, boxes which I don't the DVD ones they make but they stop making the CD ones which is a bummer because the CD ones um, fit all of the stamps perfectly in but anyway, here I have the uh, different one, also Ikea, and I keep all my paper pads in there, upside down, so that the, rather than the spine at the top, I keep them upside down for me. So not that I use this enough, and I'm trying to, I try not to buy anymore, just because I have enough. I also keep my punch board in the back. Um, and then here's all my, this is just how I store all my foam blending um, tools so I just it's like okay so there's like a cereal box cardboard and then I put two sheets of craft paper and I stapled them on and glued it together and then I just label it um, works for me it's cheap and I have little underneath I have um, little velcro just in halves of circles so my husband had some leftover from work that I grabbed from them at the back I have my um, that and that is for screen printing and I have a bunch of like old dictionaries and books and stuff to pull pages out of for um yeah for just art journals and everything else I have a few of my bottles so I have easy tack I have my spray adhesive so this one's temporary which I use on the back of my stencils and this one is like the permanent which I often will attach fiddly things with and I have a Oh, an air duster and then also my cleaning fluid for my misty. Oh, it does not want to stay on today. I'm fiddling now. Okay. Check this back in there. Put it in the wrong order. Alright. So that is oh and I didn't this came, I just have all of my old, the round, the uh, actual tools from the ink blending just in this little container and it sits on top of my paper pads. So, and then off to this corner, I have my, Raz, my Ikea Rasnark 
thingy, which I had to make a cover for because my son was getting into it. He was like one. <laughs> so anyway, I have a paint apron. And then this, I've gone back to old school. I wanted one of those R um, Acron um, filming thingies, but this is going to be like 200 bucks. So my husband whipped up this for me. Um, I just put a couple books under each side if I want it to be higher and I just lay my phone over top. Works great for filming haul videos. And it was way cheaper. It was with wood in the cup in the shed already. All right, so then here is all the fun stuff. All my artsy stuff. So I keep all my pigment ink pads here and then I have all my W plus nine, my Simon Says Stamp, my, my favorite things. Um, all these ink pads are in here and I have a few specialty ones like, you know, my hot pink flamingo. All that sort of stuff is in here. I do have them with little hearts on the top so I can see. I didn't actually put their names on the top, but it's a rough guide. I know I want pink, so I'll just pull up the pinks um, of them. These ones I don't need to because you can see the color just fine through the clear lids. And yeah, these ones are the my MFT ones that I bought really super light colors for. So anyway, it's pretty good for me, so I like that. And it's at the top. I did put them vertical. I haven't had a problem with any leakage from any of the brands. Um, I used to store them flat, but then I was digging too much. And now it's really good being on the vertical side, and I can get more in. And there's only a small lip above the, um, the top shelf. So then I'm just going to slide in on this side. To show you underneath which is a complete mess because my son gets into it all the time despite have because every time I get in here and then I forget to put the cover on anyway I stopped cleaning it I gave up I just shoved the cover back on so I have all my Nouveau Glimmer um, bossing powders and my distress glaze and all my texture paste and these are all my distress inks in this one and I've got all my um, sprays so my Oh, there are a bunch of different varieties. I don't really have one brand. So, you know, just my favorite gold and um, shimmers. I've got a nice, gorgeous, clear shimmer from um, W plus nine, that one there, and all sorts of things. I have these extra little tubs that you can buy from Ikea as well to hang stuff off. And this is my really old, cheap acrylic paint that I don't want to throw out, but I don't really want to keep either, if that makes sense. Um, and then lower. As you know, we just have to get in and squeeze as much space into everything. So I have a few mini ink cubes in our hero art stuff. These aren't my favorite um, inks. So they live down here. This is the incredible white mask liquid frisket, which I have been recommended as a really good um, fluid mask for watercoloring. And this is all paint. So the jars here are screen printing, printing paint. So I've got them all in um, jars and then I have like, I might have to, pinned in between a couch. That's a heavy couch, so moving it's going to be hard. So I'm just going to twist that this way. All right. So I have all my Dina Wakely paints and a few others, but they live in here. It is my favorite thing. This um, case, sorry, I'm going to have to just push the couch with my feet. All right. Now we can get in here. So I've been to a few of Dina's classes that she's come to in Melbourne, and it's fantastic. I love her classes. But anyway, the whole I, I keep them all here because they're all in one spot. It's my all my acrylic paints that I like to use, and it's pretty much all Dina Wakely stuff because I love her product. Um, and this is just a two-sided bag that can be folded over, but I usually just leave it up because then I can fit more in it. But um, I made this myself, so just in the sewing machine. It's just one of those, but it fits inks and paints perfectly without, and it fits, because it's fabric, it seems to fit in any spot that I give it. Like, it doesn't need to be a perfect square and jiggly or whatever. It just sort of moves to whatever shape I need to fit in here, which I think is perfect. And I wish I had made a few more, and I hopefully will one day get the time, because I'd like to put in other stuff. So I've got some pouring stuff in here that I've 
come across and then <laughs> just think they're all art supplies. Oh boy. What have I got? I used to keep my sequins in here, but they no longer live here. Well, these are my color erase pencils for drawing. And then these are some of those micron seed beads that are buried underneath. And then I have like acrylic glazing medium. This is all my sort of um, artsy stuff. All right, I'm not going to put that away right now because that will take too long. Um, but down there underneath, oh, I hope it'll make you sick. Um, that's where my sequins now live because my son thinks they're great shakers. So same container it's from Ikea in the kitchen section. And all these little jars are, my husband needs to do sample stuff with his work. So I stole a box of them and these are perfect for all of them. I tried labeling them with a Sharpie, but it sort of just wears off. So anyway, they all live in there. They used to sit nicely and have them like upside down and whatever, but now my son plays with them. <laughs> I'm lucky if they're all in there. Um, and then also under here, I have all my 12 by 12 papers. So this is underneath the TV. And um, this is also an Ikea bench that we got. And it just stores all my 12 by 12 papers and it keeps them flat. So I keep all my um, plain colored papers there and the pattern ones on this side and a few plastic sleeves and stuff sorry there all right and then the fun thing so let's move more toys out of the way all right so now we're up to so the actual shelving unit is again from ikea this is their pantry and i stained it um with like a gray stain at the time I changed if I had the energy to empty it I probably would change the color but yeah it'll do it's neutral so everything else stands stands out excuse me so I'll just do this first so I keep my ATG here I have my Tombow markers there Sharpies and Fabric Castells in that one and these are all like my whites and I have a white stable and these are like my Wink Stella stuff in here so in my, you know, just a whole bunch of little things that I was losing in my drawer and I want to remind myself to use them. So I put them up here now. In the back are like jars of buttons and stickers and die cuts that barely ever get used. But I don't have the heart to throw out, so they stay there. Um, and then I keep my cuddle bug here. And then I have a few little kits that I've gotten with like Molly Make magazines and then this is my kit that I got from Create a Smile that I still am wanting to use as a kit not just I've used the stuff separately but I want to use the whole kit to make something and sorry my wood die cuts as well at the back all right so then these are as I was saying before Ikea CD containers or boxes which they're not making anymore um, I do have a few spares and I saw that LD um, sometimes has them on specials, so now I've got to be careful with everything. So I did take my label maker and label up some of the fronts of them, but it didn't get too far. Um, this is Lawn Fawn. I have two drawers full of just Lawn Fawn, and it was taking me forever to find what I wanted. So now they are categorized. Um, again, all just handmade, homemade stuff. They're not reinforced paper. It's not like it's cardboard or thick. It's just you know, thicker pattern paper with labels at the top that I've stapled on. They stick up and then here's the next one there as well. So they work really well for me. I can actually find stuff now. Um, next up, sort of, I've got another container um, and this has just got, I sort of keep them grouped in um, companies but I haven't labeled them because they're always evolving like as soon as I buy more. Then here I've got all my big stuff. So this is still a CD case. I just flipped it on its side. So I keep all my really large stamp sets in here. I have one large die that I can't fit in my other storage system. But all my Tim Holtz, my Alta New, anything that was big um, goes there. And then sort of tucked in behind it. So I'm sitting at my desk here. I have all my normal paper. So I have my um, Fisker's cutter, and then I have my Misty, and then I have all my Nina paper, all my card base and plain papers, my grays, um, my wood paper I keep there. 
as well. And then this here, I sort of have some pre-stamped um, images to color, to take away and color, whether we're camping or away or just at the couch. So I don't have to, my son's bedroom is right next door. So sometimes at night, it gets a bit loud. And I also have, sorry, a cheat sheet of all my birthday sentiments. So I sort of got tired of looking for the right sentiment on the right card. So now I have a cheat sheet of all the fonts for saying basically happy birthday. And what set? So I can easily go and find them without rummaging around. Because sometimes I'm using a card and it doesn't have the right sentiment. So that's that. And I have a couple of card bases here already pre-cut. Okay, and then this one here, this is a metal one. So this apparently, I bought it at a refurbished, someone who was repainting them and stuff, but apparently um, old garages had these metal cases. Anyway, it's got a handle, it's metal, and it holds all my dies, which is just perfect because dies are so heavy. And again, I have these labeled as well. Um, further down, again, more stamps how I keep them. There's a couple here that are slightly bigger, but I wanted to keep the Concord and Ninth with the Concord and Ninth instead of putting it up. So I made a few exceptions to my rule. I've got W plus nine and Mama Elephant, more yummy stuff. Um, these are Purple Onion Designs, more various stampers, and even more. And I have my 12 or six by six cling ones back here. Um, just in little plastic bags and then I also have this one which no longer fits in there um, and it is uh, purple onion designs and sort of more the cling ones so my son actually just leaves them doesn't really play with them so score and sorry I did not mention these ones here so this is purple onion designs and I also have some flora and fauna in behind just because they'd fit in it and then to the side, I have my stack of rainbow colored fun foam, a clipboard that's great to color on. This actually I use the most. It's one of those art whiteboards, but I just use it to take to the couch and color on. I have a few art journals, my, my, my roll of, you know, double sided foamy stuff goes there. Um, yes, yeah, some just some vertical and some extra notepads and stuff.